Okay, so in this video, we're going to be using the limit laws once again. We're going to be finding the limit as x approaches negative 4 for the square root of x to the fourth power plus 3x plus 12. So what is this going to be? So in order to solve for the limit, I'm going to be using the limit laws. And in this case, we can actually use the root law. So the root law is as follows. I can actually rewrite this, this right over here as the limit as x approaches negative 4, or x to the fourth plus 3x plus 12. And I guess I could do this to the power of 1 half and then add this, this set of parentheses at the, at the end. So this is just going to become x to the fourth power plus 3x plus 12 to the power of 1 half, which is equivalent to this right here. So now that we have this, let's use the limit laws once again to solve. So this is going to be equal to, well, the limit. So we're using the root law. We're still using the root law. As x approaches negative 4, of x to the fourth power plus 3x plus 12, right? And then all of this to one half power. This is what we're going to have. So now let's solve the inside and then we can square root the whole thing. So the inside is just going to become, we can break this up again using the sum rule to the limit as x approaches negative 4 of x to the fourth plus the limit as x approaches negative 4 of 3x plus the limit as x approaches negative 4, 12, all of this raised to the one-half power. Okay, so next we can solve using the limit laws once again. Um, and this is just going to become negative 4 to the fourth power, which I'm going to use my calculator for, gives me 256 plus, plus this, which is just going to be equal to 3, so this is going to be equal to, let me write that all over here, just to save some space. The limit as x approaches negative 4, we brought out that 2 in front, so that's going to be 3 times the limit as x approaches negative 4, of just x. And this is going to be equal to 3 times negative 4, which is negative 12. So we can get that back down here, and that's just going to become negative 12 right there. And this is plus, and I'm going to erase this, we don't need this anymore, plus the limit as x approaches negative 4, for just 12, this is just going to become positive 12. And this is all to the power of 1 half. So if we, if we write this out, it's just going to become 256. We can write this out like this to see that the negative, negative 12 and the positive 12 just become 0. Negative 12 plus 12 is 0, which this is going to become 256 to the power of 1 half, which is a square root of 256. And so what is that going to be equal to? Well, that is just equal to positive, positive 16. I hope you found that video helpful.